developed, it is a fetal pig after all. Once she goes through adolescence, that'll become a lot more developed. Now right around the ovary, you can see tiny little squiggles right here, as small as you can think. Right there, tiny little squiggles, and those are the oviduct and or fallopian tubes, they're synonymous. Those connect, uh, those conduct the eggs to the uterus. So here's a piece of the uterus right here. Now with pigs, they have a Y-shaped uterus that's different from humans, so they can be pregnant on the left and the right sides. If we follow the uterus down, it disappears, down through here, and it continues. Oh. And she's out. Keep I got hit, I got hit. Go on. And it continues down, right through here, and this tube, this tube right here, is the vagina. Ventral to that tube, we have the urethra. So here's the urethra. And then let's go back and review that there's a vagina. And then down at the bottom, we have the rectum. So three different tubes running parallel, all exiting the, the female pig in approximately the same area. The rectum, the vagina, and the uh, urethra. Here we have the urinary bladder. The urinary bladder connects to the kidneys by way of the ureter. And these ureters are... Smushed. Smushed. Here's one. Here's the ureter. And you can see there's some ovaries that are in the way, and there's the kidney back there. Let's see if we can find the other ovary, shall we? Since our batteries are already dead, there's the other ovary. Right there. So there's the other ovary. A little bit bigger. And then we can see the oviduct right there behind it. Tiny little squiggles. I'm trying to isolate it so it gets some contrast here. There's some tiny little squiggles right there. That's the uh, oviduct, and then here we have the left side of, or the right side of the uterus as well. This concludes the internal female reproductive. Oh, that's all. Well, we already did everything, so it's just short. Okay.